Here's a tip for this style. If you want to use less water, you can do that. You can use anywhere from about 35% water or hydration to about 48% hydration. And you don't have to change anything else and you'll have something different but the same. Uh, anywhere from 35 to 48, at least with my water and the flour I'm using. So, um, you know, mess around with that. Shakey's is probably in the 35 to 38% uh, hydration. Tommy's, normally I think I would like to use less hydration, something more like 45. Um, round table, I think, would probably be in the 48 to 50 percent hydration um, window, except they use a lot of bench flour. You know, when when I had him or me putting flour on the dough while we were rolling it. Um, a place like Round Table, I, I'm pretty sure we'll do, we'll use a lot of that because the dough is too soft um, to come out right if you don't use a lot of bench flour. But Shakey's, I'm sure they don't use any bench flour at all because their dough is very, very stiff. Tommy's, I think, is somewhere in between Shakey's and Round Table. This pizza came out very well. It came out a lot better than I was expecting, um, you know, because I haven't done it for well over two years. Um, so I was pretty rusty up there. But um, if anything, if I did anything wrong, I may have used too little yeast. So I think you could jack the yeast percentage up a little bit if you want. Um, also, I think if I had left it in the refrigerator, if I had left the skin in the refrigerator for 48 hours instead of 24, it might have been better. So those two things kind of address the same problem in different ways. So go ahead and try that if you want. The reason why we kept rolling and trimming is because I don't have a sheeter. Those things are like $2,000 or $3,000. Um, they are not for home use for the most part. A sheeter would make it the exact thickness we want, but I don't have one. And I'm never going to have one. So what we had to do is roll it and trim it then weigh it, then if it's not the right, um, if it's not the right weight after that, then we have to uh, do it again because we have to get the right thickness. And the way we know we've gotten the right thickness is if it weighs the amount it's supposed to weigh.